fresh off his breakup from Kim K, Pete Davidson is reportedly seeking trauma therapy over the online harassment he received from Kanye West. So according to People Magazine, Kanye's negativity toward him has been triggering for Pete. As we mentioned, Kanye posted this on Instagram, announcing the death of Pete's relationship with Kim. The video for Kanye's song, Easy, was so disturbing, we have to put up this warning. So in it, he depicts uh, an animated Pete who is kidnapped, tied up with a bag over his head, and then buried alive. Okay, Jeff, so do you think that Kanye's bullying was out of line? What do you think about just all the uproar now? following this. Yeah, because it puts a lot of scrutiny and haters. Kanye's got a big following, so you have to be careful. You know, heavy lies the crown type of thing. But as far as trauma therapy, I'm sure Pete's a little broken up about not being with Kim. But I mean, Pete's never really been a settled down guy. He's very young. He's got his group of friends. He understands uh, sarcasm. He's a comic. I, I think the media's pumping this up bigger than it is. I don't know. I, he could be, but I just know I, just I don't know anything about Pete, but what I think I know about him is that like his group of friends, they joke around a lot. This was a fun run for Pete, and I think he's going to be fine. Erica, what do you think? I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that he's in trauma therapy. I mean, I don't think people really understand, yes, you're a celebrity, but that's a lot. That's a lot of energy for anyone to handle. And the truth is, like, people will always be like, oh, just go and, like, cry into your bag of money or, like, if I were in your position. Right. You don't know what you would do if you were in someone's position. I just listened to Kevin Hart did, like, an hour and a half interview on the Pivot podcast, and he talked about this, and I say this a lot from my perspective, and he's like, you know, I was a part of the 99% for all of this time. He's like, now I'm a part of the 1%. Mm. So when you're having a conversation conversation with me I'm having a 360 conversation wow. but you're only having a 180 conversation because you don't understand what it's like to walk in my shoes mm. and I think that that's just an important point for people to remember at all times like people can be like yeah I don't want to be famous anymore but is that going to really absolve the issue is that going to just take them off the map mm. I don't believe that to be true yeah, I think it's really fascinating that um, actually Emily, our fact checker, was saying Kanye West and Pete Davidson have been diagnosed both with bipolar. So they both have the same mental health disease. I know for a fact that he's gone through sobriety with John Mulaney. He's gone through, which I assume includes some therapy. So I could see him falling back on that. I also know his father had a very traumatic death from 9-11. So perhaps he's even gone back from there. I find Kanye's response very irresponsible and I would be suing if I were Pete Davidson's lawyer maybe he doesn't want to get into it those are dangerous threats that's an actual pattern that's escalation I don't care for that yeah. all right well speaking of fame Brad Pitt reportedly keeps tabs on who he will and will not work with okay so Brad's bullet train co-star Aaron Taylor Johnson recently told Variety that Brad keeps a list of actors he will never work with again while Brad hasn't confirmed the existence of this list many are speculating his ex-wife Angelina Jolie made the list Duh. okay that was Tori <laughs> the two are still in the middle of a bitter divorce battle and some say Tom Cruise could be on that list too the two starred in interview with a vampire back in 1994 but haven't work together since. So Tori, you just made that big loud noise. Yeah. Who do you think is also on, on that, <laughs> that list? Anyone who's in Angelina Jolie's camp. I mean, that's clearly they've made boundaries with each other. I've heard he and Tom Cruise had a very difficult time together on Interview with a Vampire. He um, had a, they didn't get along well. Um, and I think he said he's in his late stage. So what I was learning from this is he's got some boundaries. I'm just turned four, or I'm almost 41. But I learned <laughs> from all of you guys what boundaries are and I just started implementing them. This seems like to me he's putting up some fences. Good for him. Good for him. Jeff, if you were ever in that position, would you be like, okay, I want, I mean, we see that even like on a comic level with, with Adam Sandler. He surrounds himself his friend, with his right, best right, friends. Right, right. Would you cherry pick if you have the... To a certain extent, you know, from the people I've worked with in my past, there's certain people that I wouldn't work with. I could see their faces right now. And I wouldn't work with them no matter what the money. But if I had the opportunity to work with Brad Pitt and perhaps some people I don't like, I would bite the bullet, right? Because that's where I want to be. And then when you get older, you come to a certain point in your life where you're like, well, I just don't need that headache anymore. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be happy and positive. And I'm kind of like that with the lower echelon of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? The reality TV days, if you know what I mean. So <laughs> someone in that realm, yeah. Wow.
Yeah. What do you mean, what? No, you don't get it? It makes kidding. sense. I was being right? sarcastic. Because if you're going to be doing something, whether it's reality, TV, or work, you're putting a lot of your time and energy into yeah, that environment. Also. Why surround yourself with a toxic work environment? Yeah, or people who don't value or respect your time. Yes. It's like all money ain't good money. Like all relationships and circles aren't great. You know, you have to like, there's things that you prioritize as you get older, more experience, have, you know, just different, different experiences. Yeah. And for me, my mental health and my sanity and the idea that I don't have to worry about somebody doing something that I wouldn't condone in my circle because my yes. circle is that small. That's all I really need. I'm right there point. with you. Mm -hmm. And we can guess who's on the list. He always loves to work with George Clooney, Julia Jonah Roberts. Jonah Hill, I feel like. Jo what, what was he in with Jonah Hill? Moneyball. Oh. oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, good job. Can be production. He also works with Anna de Armas. He's doing the Marilyn Monroe show. He's producing that movie. Wow. So he says a lot of behind the scenes, too. Why was my voice so high? <laughs>